Hello arm wrestling fans we have a couple of interesting topics to discuss today the highlights from the recent true power and arm olymp dennis plenkov training videos and kamil jablonski's comments about the devon lerett super match and devon lerett in general so let's start true power youtube channel showed dennis plenkov's pronation lifts before the devon lerett match in the video dennis was seen lifting progressively heavy weight in the pronation lift which is being compared to the devon lerett pronation lift devon did it while sitting down while his elbow was against his inner thigh and dennis plenkov did it standing so it's kind of difficult to compare these two but since devon made it famous everybody has to compare that so towards the end dennis did about 72.5 kilos for about 3 I'll say cheat reps they didn't look clean to me now which lift is difficult it's hard to say but to expect dennis to do this while seated down when everyone knows that he has such hip problems i think it's kind of criminal and that's why maybe he didn't do that but nevertheless the lift was really really impressive and i think dennis is going to improve on that before the hermes gasparini super match in the same video dennis said that once he gets to about 120 kilos in the cheat bicep curl for multiple reps then he should be ready he won't go any further than that because lifting heavy weights even in the bicep curls can kind of hurt his pelvic region it can cause some hip problems that he already has and towards the later part of this video which was recorded in january after the devon match more emphasis was given on training for attacking in a super match and not just defending like dennis did against devon but i'm not sure if just changing your training style is going to help you attack devon lerett because hermes gasparini is as aggressive of an arm wrestler as you can find and even he was not able to attack against devon's pronation so maybe devon has gotten so much better at just stopping opponents right at the center and even towards his own winning side in the second video which was uploaded on arm olymp channel babkan didn't show much of dennis plenkov's practice footages the sparrings on the table which is a part of their strategy which they have already discussed because they do not want to reveal everything just like they did the last time because everyone kind of criticized them for that including engin terzi well this time they showed some footage of dennis losing which kind of goes against the very point that they were discussing initially because even in the last time they showed how to beat dennis plenkov and still they are showing dennis kind of struggling against the top role of sergey tokarev and others well maybe it's a strategy obviously dennis was too much tired before he practice pulled with them but still i would advise them to show dennis only winning on the practice table let them opponents think of defensive methods to beat dennis do not show him losing on the table and now let's discuss the kamil jablonski interview link to which is available in the description of this video so kamil talked about the devon lerett match and even before that he discussed the cody spur merit match he said that he tried to beat cody without using his 100% strength well cody was number 1 in north america and to even think that is absolutely insane he said i tried to save energy while arm wrestling cody i was just trying to hold him with my fingers without using too much of my arm but i had to slip and that caused some damage some fatigue into my arm so i was also not exactly 100% while facing devon despite having a easy match a relatively easy match with cody spur merit before devon match when devon accepted he was making videos about my name and he was laughing that i'm crazy that i can beat him after super match with cody but when i win cody there was quiet and this quiet from devon gave me a sign that he probably got scared kamil said that he just matched devon's game of aggressiveness and bullying in the setup and devon wasn't prepared for that now kamil also wants a right-handed match against devon lerett he said he didn't grip up with devon on the right arm at arm wars because of a couple of reasons number 1 devon was getting some white cell treatments so it wasn't really feasible to arm wrestle with him right there and number 2 levan was devon's biggest concern at that time but he said that he has different strengths on his left and on his right the press on the left arm is about 20% stronger and the side pressure is also 10% stronger but the wrist pronation and bicep on the right arm are about 10-15% stronger he said devon's weakest point is a deep inside hook even on the right arm well ginadi did beat devon there by tiring him out 
but Devon was forced to be there. Maybe Camille's flop press is also strong enough to get Devon in a hook to force Devon to grip him low and maybe he can do something from there but it is going to be extremely difficult for him. On the right arm, I would assume Georgi Svetkov can be a much better match for Kamil Jablonski and Kamil's flop press can cause some serious trouble to Georgi Svetkov. On the left arm, Kamil wants either Alex Kordecha or Artem Morozov. He believes that stylistically he can cause some damage to both of them. Left-handed, Kamil has earned his spot at the top as he was saying that right now there aren't too many opponents for him. And this makes sense because let's be honest and let's think about it clearly. Yes, the styles were different, but Kamil beat Devon on the left arm even easier than Dennis did back in 2018. That's kind of strange. Devon was gassed out after the match while just pulling for 3 seconds in the 5 rounds that he got pinned by Kamil Jablonski. So this man deserves the spot, he deserves the spotlight, he deserves top matches in his future. Thanks for watching, like the video and subscribe.